If you guys have an old PC laying around the house, don't throw it out. We're gonna turn this into a home server to get you started in your home lab journey. And any PC or laptop can be turned into a home server and it's great fun to start off with. So first off, head to Google, in Google Proxmox, click on the first link. Now in the downloads page, select the Proxmox VE installer download. Download that. After that, get your USB flash drive. Plug it into your computer. And then download the pro program called Rufus. And we've got an image of the ISO file to the U USB flash drive to make a bootable USB to install on your old PC or laptop. This normally takes a few minutes, so just be patient, just let the image write the flash drive. So make sure your PC has an Ethernet cable plugged in. Um, I did try Wi-Fi, but it didn't like it and it pulled all the wrong IP information. So just make sure you have an Ethernet cable plugged into your laptop or PC to pull the right network information and just saves time and trouble. So just boot up to that USB flash drive and now you're welcome to the installer. So go to the license. Now you can choose um, what hard drive the ISO will be installed to and here you can choose your file system. This is all up to you but if you're not sure just stick to, stick to default. So choose your time zone and country. Now create a root password for the login for Proxmox and also put in a valid email address. Now because your Ethernet cable is plugged in, it will pull the information from your network. And for your host name, put whatever you want, but just put dot .local. And click next, and then the ISO will install to the computer, and then you're good to go. It will give you an IP address, so go to Google, type in HTTPS colon slash slash the IP address and port 8006. Connection is not private, but that's okay, it's on our network. Proceed to this, username is root password is the one you set with the installation. Now this is personal preference, but I like dark mode on everything. And so we'll, I'll get a GitHub script, type, put, put in two commands in the command line. And then we'll have dark mode. I have done a separate video on that, but I'll link it in the description below if you want dark mode. Now, because I'm installing this on an old laptop I had laying around, I want the lid shut so I can put the computer down and put it away in a closet or on, on the bench or on my desk. But I don't want it open because there's no point. That's the point of the server, so you don't see it. So we're going to go to the command line and change a few um, comments, and that's going to allow us to shut the lid but have the computer running with so our server stays up. So this is the config file, and we're going to so we're just going to delete the hashtag of handle lid switch and ignore, and the same for handle lid switch dot both ignored. And let the leave, leave, leave comment with the hashtag not there. These commands will be in the description if you need to do this on if you're using a laptop. Now well, this we're now we're going into a login service, and then we're going to go in nano into the grub. So we can set the console blank, and then after this we'll update the grub settings, and then we sh should be able to shut the lid. So we go and shut the lid now if the, all those commands worked. Then refresh this and see if it works. So that's just proof it works. So this is a basic setup for an old PC or a laptop for a home server to get you started in your home web. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.